How's it going guys? So how to laser engrave a knife. I got a couple of examples and I got some tip, tips and uh, tricks that I think will help you out. They have definitely helped me out throughout the years. And today we'll be using the, the Fusion. All right, so the things you will need to make this happen that makes it a lot easier is this blue painter's tape. You can pick this up at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, any kind of a hardware store or order it online. This has helped a tremendous amount and for as far as making jigs and other items that I use that you'll see a lot of this in the videos that I make. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you need a chunk of wood. However thickness your laser can cut. And you'll see this jig in my example on the computer. And I use a lot of this uh, wood from, I believe it's Home Depot I get it from. Unless I go to Menards. But I don't know what you guys have in your area or type of the world that you're in. This knife is what we'll be lasering today. It has a back side. Then it's got this little clip here. And the top of this clip right here will sit right up in here and that tight into this corner. Sorry about that. It's tight in this corner here. And then this little part here will sit up here. So I know it's going to be in the same spot every single time. See that? It works pretty good. I've used this one for a long time already. All right, so now I got it up in the corner and now we'll go and I'll show you how I made that jig. And once you make that one and you feel comfortable with it, then you can copy and paste and make a big one, however big your bed is. And we can do multiple knives at one time and walk away from it. You don't have to worry about switching out one after another. It makes it a lot, a lot more efficient. So, all right, now you've seen that, let's go to the computer and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so now that we have the program opened, what I'd like to do is I'll draw this square just as I was showing you, and then how this cutout here, so when that goes up in the bed of the laser in the corner, then you know where the knife's going to be. So what I do to get where I know where I'm going to laser on the knife, I like to take the picture of the knife, and then I take the measurements of the knife, so I know it's the same size. See how I cropped the picture? And to crop it, you click the photo, and you go up to here to crop tool <clears throat> and then you go in you hold down go to the other corner and then you can bring these tabs in and out to crop the picture so now I know it's the closest size from there to that to this end and then from end to end from left to right so now what we're gonna do is hit control spacebar and that'll take you out of whatever command you're in. Brings you back to this mouse command. Now we take the freehand tool. We we'll click that little arrow in the corner. And we go down to pen. <clears throat> I like to use pen because it's easier with the nodes to adjust it at the end. And I will show you. So what I like to do is you'll click... See how I'm doing this? I'm just making nodes. You go all the way around wherever it turns in a corner and then we'll come back and we'll fix this to make it align so it looks just like the photo. So now once that is done you go up here to shape tool. Click shape tool you can zoom in now and you'll grab this line oh so it didn't work so what we have to do now is click off of it so, or hit control spacebar and then go back up to shape tool click shape tool and then we're going to want to highlight all of these nodes and then right click over the node and then go to to curve 
once you have that zoom in a little more now you should be able to grab them and pull them right around see how we're making it look just like the knife the cutout so now when you go and engrave you know where the lines are and know that you won't be going off the knife <clears throat> it helps quite a bit I'm going to add another node. If you want to add another node, you double click and then you want to right click on it. And then you want to cusp it. Then you can pull that out. We'll make this go a little more nice and curved. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of get you a give you a, a feel of where you're etching on the knife and it helps it helps me a lot and I do it for every one of them so when you get the custom orders if someone wants something way over here or way over here then you can do it so now once you have that all done control space bar it's a shortcut <clears throat> now you have the knife which is drawing right here so then what I did for this one is I went up to here where it says outline width. I have a drop down. Now you can make this different thickness so it's easier to see and so you know that you can stay away from the edge and you won't ever go off to verify it. So then what I did here is you'll notice I have these black marks. So I also drew that over the screw holes. So then what you do is you take your blues, blue painter's tape and you tape right over this. And then you kind of push down with your fingers so you see the outlines. And then what I did is you highlight <coughs> the, excuse me, the circles and then you etch it at, and I have a 60 watt laser so the power I used was 12% and the speed was 100% and by doing that it will just barely scratch the surface and turn the paint or, or turn the tape white and then that helped know where they were so if I had adjusted up a 16th or down or 32nd over whichever way I had to and then it also told me the outline where that was and how close I was if I was close or not and adjusted from there okay so once you have that done you place it on here because this is just a duplicate of this piece you hit to get a duplicate you hit control D and then what you do is you just unlock it highlight that one part bring it up and then you bring it right up in the corner and then you put that right in there so now that we have that done I want to show you what else I do I also write in autofocus is 90 now <clears throat> the reason why I do all this is because if something would happen to me if I got in a car accident or anything else then my wife would know what to do or someone in my family member. They can easily go on here and see what I do and I have the little notes in here. Now we also sell on Etsy so we have our website and this is like um, on our website there's font choices so what, the font choices I put them right here so if someone select they want to use Jeff font then I write it with I just highlight it all control C and then control V that's copy and paste or you can just highlight it hit control D that's duplicate and pull it off now you can just go into it and start typing any any name that you need to type in that they choose and that's it's just a lot easier there's no messing around or trying to find the fonts and it's a lot a lot quicker and then I always keep the names off to the side and I keep them for until I think they're full enough of pretty much and then I'll take those off and I'll delete them so it doesn't slow down my computer 
And then after you have this done, make sure you go and save it. And it should be good to go. Then give it a try. I hope this helped. And please let me know if there's anything else that I can help with in the comments down below. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.